In an earlier course, we showed that the nth triangle number can be calculated as 1 half times n times n plus 1. You may remember that Eli helped us out by pushing around some dots. Here he is calculating the eighth triangle number. The result of Eli's labors is a rectangle of dots, eight dots high and nine dots wide. That's 72 altogether. And that's twice the number of dots that he needs. So the eighth triangle number is half of 72, that's 36. That's correct. So the sum of the first eight natural numbers is 36. It's possible to look at this another way that does not involve pushing dots around. Suppose we give the sum of the first eight natural numbers a name, say t. Well, then t is 36. Well, that's true, but I'm trying to make a general point, so bear with me. If we now take each of these numbers in reverse order and write them like this, and then add them up, we of course get t again. Now we add the two rows together like this. 1 plus 8 is 9. 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 6 is 9, and so on. There are 8 9s, so that's 72 altogether. Which is equal to 2 times t, and so t is equal to... 36. That's an easy way to find triangle numbers. To summarize, we see that the eighth triangle number is equal to 1 half times 8 times 9. Or, taking n to be 8, we have that the nth triangle number is equal to 1 half times n times n plus 1. Before we finish this lesson, I have a question. Who can remember the relationship between triangle numbers and n take k numbers? I remember the eighth triangle number is the number of two subsets of an eight set. That's almost correct. In fact, the eighth triangle number is the number of two element subsets of a nine element set. In general, if n is a natural number, then n plus one take two is the nth triangle number which we calculate as 1 half times n times n plus 1. Well, you now have several ways to calculate triangle numbers. Here's a simple exercise to test your knowledge.